I'm Lisa Stone. I'm one of the three co-founders of Blogger with Elisa Camelhort Page and Jory Desjardins. I'm also the CEO. Congrats, Lisa. You just announced that you got funding yes. from a whole bunch of people. Tell us about the funding, how much money you got, and what you're going to do with the money. Blog Her just received a Series B funding from two fantastic venture capital organizations. The Peacock Fund, uh, a GE and BC fund, has invested, and our Series A investor, Venrock, a premier VC fund, has come in uh, for part of the second round. What we're going to be doing with this is to continue to deliver on our mission of raising the profile of women who blog and creating new opportunities for them to gain community and also economic empowerment. We've done two really key initiatives in the past year. The first is that we've grown from 180 blogs to 2,200 in our publishing syndicate. Right now, according to Nielsen Net Ratings, we reach more than 8 million unique women a month and we're a 100 million impression ad network. We split revenue with the women in our blogging network and we have some real successes on our hands, which is one of the reasons I think that we've been so fortunate as to sign an operating agreement, a partnership with key properties in partnership with NBC Universal, iVillage, Oxygen TV, and BravoTV.com as well. So what kind of content uh, is going to be shown in all these three properties? Well, as you may know, Blog Her covers what women are doing in the blogosphere. Today we cover everything from politics, technology, business, and personal finance, most recently foreclosures, to the lifestyle issues as well as family, parenting, fashion, and beauty. We'll be working with iVillage, also with BravoTV.com and Oxygen.com, to help raise the profile of women writing about issues that those sites, those creative teams find are of interest. I'll give you a great example. Yesterday when we announced this agreement, Project Runway launched its fifth season and our excellent green blogger, Green LA Girl, wrote a great piece about Echo fashion shopping here in San Francisco in honor of Blogger's annual conference. Bravo TV put up the blog on their site and linked off to her blog. So this is going to be mostly text, not multimedia at this point. You know, at this point, you're right. BlogHer is primarily a text-oriented medium, although we have a few fun things in the works in video. Um, and we're, we're excited to tell you about those when they come to bear. And what kind of a revenue share do you have with people who are in your ad network, as well as those who blog for you? So we have sort of two tracks. First of all, the 2,200 bloggers, 1,000 of which are parenting blogs, enjoy revenue share with the Fortune 500 level advertisers that we've been putting on their sites. If your blog has uh, fewer than a million impressions a month, you can have 50% of the revenue. If you're a larger blog than that, well, we provide you with 60% of the revenue. We'll be working with NBC Universal to sell advertising inventory on those blogs. Over on blogger.com, our new service where we have 60 bloggers, we do uh, provide our bloggers with a stipend. I'm happy to say that we pay $50 a post uh, according to a futures calendar that we work on together. Um, that's one of the higher stipends that I'm aware of and we're very pleased to pay it because we think our editors do groundbreaking work. We do break news such as Michelle Obama's donated, I might add, excellent column on blogger.com yesterday. It's the first blog I think she's written. She was interested in reaching out to our community. Of course, we've invited Sandy McCain to do so as well. Um, but we also break news perspective every day in addition to breaking news. And that's one of the things that really is so motivating for us. Lisa, I'm going to switch to a personal question. You have been a journalist and you wrote for various newspapers here in the Bay Area. What is it like to be an entrepreneur? Did you ever think that you would end up doing what you're doing today? Well, uh, I have to tell you, um, some of my proudest accomplishments have been writing and freelancing for papers like the Oakland Tribune and also the New York Times and the LA Times. That said, nothing energizes me like discovering some of the new talent that I see in the blogosphere today. It has been frustrating, frankly, my entire life as a journalist to see that although women are the majority of the population and the majority of voters, that we were never achieving, close to achieving, the 
even 50 percent of the providers of content on opinion editorial pages for the papers I wrote for. Today, however, women are not only the most powerful consumers in the American economy, we are the power users of the internet. Not only are we the majority of internet users, we are now 36 million strong in the blogosphere every single week. 20 million as publishers, 15 million as providers. And I think we're going to see a lot more of that. If you want good content, you should be reading women. If you want your own good content read and acknowledged, you should be trying to get women who blog to read it and watch it. I can see that you love your job because you don't stop pitching about blogger. <laughs> It's my passion, and I know Elisa and Jory agree with me wholeheartedly. Uh, the, the growth in the past year is absolutely due to the incredible juggernaut of women who are using their own personal printing presses to write about their lives. And it is fantastic to watch. So I invite you to get hooked as well. Come to blogger.com and read what I'm talking about. It isn't just me. It's amazing what these women are doing. You grew up in Montana. I what, did. What was it like to grow up in Montana? Who were your role models? So it's interesting you, you mentioned that. Um, I grew up in Montana in the 70s before cable television, before the internet. And what I mean is that when I arrived in Missoula at the age of nine, when my parents moved there, we used to wait on the front steps for Seventeen Magazine to be delivered in a brown paper wrapper because it wasn't sold there. I ordered my clothes from Sears Roebuck and bought them at Kmart, the only store in town before the mall came in when I was a teenager. I can't express to you how cut off I was from the rest of the world, and I think this is one of the reasons when I read brilliant news services like the Global Voices Online blog, I'm incredibly moved by seeing new news told by people who are typically ignored. I think that is the kernel of why I love bloggers so much. Because other than Ted Kaczynski and the Freeman, many people don't know too much about Montana. Um, my role models, I have to say, and this sounds like a cliche, but they really are my parents. And they actually came to Blogger's fourth annual conference. Um, I think that my mother, who's a public school teacher, and my father, who is a, a, a doctor turned bioethicist, have always said the, the most important thing that you can do is shut up and listen. And I think that as a journalist, that's been the best advice I've ever had. Who is your role model now? You know, there are a couple of people I consider my, my role models today. I think as a blogger, my uh, absolute favorite because she's uh, got a blended family like I do, she's a stepmother and a mother, is Suburban Turmoil, Lindsay Ferrier. I absolutely love her blog. I don't blog about my family. Uh, it's an arrangement I made with them. But the other woman I really admire and look up to enormously and always have um, is uh, the one and only uh, Marie Wilson, who heads the White House Project. She is the one who, by a total accident, uh, was the inspiration for President Barbie. She is the one who has been um, trying to change women and paths for women in a nonpartisan way her entire career. The White House Project is a great example. They will recommend Condoleezza Rice for the next president. They will also recommend someone like a Hillary Clinton. And so I think that the more we can do to bring women together to acknowledge what they are accomplishing as entrepreneurs, uh, thank you for your show, and as well as bloggers, is, is going to really improve the quality of what all of us are reading and, and writing about online. Lisa, it was a pleasure to talk to you. It's Thank really a pleasure to meet you, too, after all this time. Thank you. Thanks.